Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. We've been learning few new words every day, and today is our day number thirty-five. Today we will learn a few words. A few words having to do with greed, as in being greedy. So let's start then. The very first word we want to learn is. Voracious. Just give me a second. I'll be right back. The word is voracious. What does it mean? Some people pronounce it as voracious and some people pronounce it as voracious and they are both considered correct pronunciations. Voracious and voracious. It just means consuming a great amount of something usually usually when one uses the word voracious usually one speaks in uh, one is thinking about food but it doesn't have to be food it just means consuming great amount of something uh, for example for example you might speak of somebody uh, as heavy, uh, as being as being a voracious reader. So if a person reads a lot, they like reading and they, they, they read a great deal, you can describe the person as a voracious read, uh, reader. So here you're using the word in a more metaphorical meaning, because usually it is used in the context of food, a voracious appetite when, when he speaks a uh, consuming great amount of food. So if you consume a great amount of food, that's how it is used as in uh, voracious appetite, as I said. Let's learn the next word, which is related to voracious, and the word is, and the word is, I need the room, so I need to erase everything. Again, the word was voracious, so before I forget it, the noun is, Let me change the color. The noun is voracity. The noun, noun of voracious is voracity. Do not confuse the word voracity, V-O-R-A-C-I-T-E, with the word voracity, Vor voracity, v -V -O, voracity, and voracity. Those are two different words. Veracity has to do with being truthful, being honest. Truth, veracity means truthfulness. 
we'll cover this word later 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 on. It just means Truthfulness. So if you're being truthful, then you have veracity. For example, some, if you say something to somebody, the person might say, well, I doubt the veracity of that statement. Well, if you're doubting the veracity of the statement, you're doubting the truthfulness of the statement. In other words, you're telling the person that you are lying, that I don't believe that you're telling the truth. Instead of saying, I don't believe I believe that you tell, you're telling me a lie, you can say, I doubt the veracity of your statement. As opposed to veracity, which is the noun of voracious. Let's learn the next word. The word is... Ravenous, which is also an adjective. Voracious was also an adjective, I forgot to put there. Ravenous. It just means extremely hungry. Extremely hungry. It could also mean greedy. That's all. And the noun would be other. A uh, synonym of ra ravenous would be the word that we just learned, which is voracious. They are all related, they are synonyms. The noun would be ravenousness. You have to say slowly ravenous, ravenousness, ravenousness. It just means to be ravenous. Let's go on then. Let's learn another word. Another word having to do with greed. It just means to be extremely hungry or to be greedy. If you're using it as a greedy, you're using it more of a metaphorical in a broader meaning of the word ravenous. Let's go on to the next word then. That that, that was the end. that was the end of this word. The next word we want to learn is Rapacious. It is also an adjective. What does it mean? Again, it means the same thing as all the other word. It just means greedy. You all have to do with the word greed. It means to be ravenous. It means to be Plundering. Plunder means to loot. Plundering. Taking something by force, which is exactly what plunder means. Or looting. For those of you watching this thing in the subcontinent, the word loot in English language is borrowed from Hindi or Urdu. We have the same word loot, as in to take something by force. Plunder, to loot, to be rapacious. The noun for rapacious would be. Rapacity, rapacity, the noun. Rapacious, rapacity. If somebody is being rapacious, that person is said to, that person is said to have rapacity. 
Let's move on then. The next word. We're done with this thing. We need the room. Unfortunately, I have to keep erasing it because the blackboard is too tiny. I don't like having a huge blackboard because in order to cover the entire blackboard in the camera, the camera has to be far away and then you have trouble reading it. This is a nice small camera, it's more intimate. Let's go to the next word then. We're done with this one. The next word after rapacious is Amorous. And unlike and unlike all the other words that I did before, that we did today, voracious, ravenous, rapacious, they were all adjective. I did the adjective first and then at the end I gave you the noun. Here for some strange reason I decided to do it the other way around. I guess we will start out with noun and we'll learn the adjective in a second. This is a noun, avarice. It just means an extreme desire, an extreme desire I cannot believe I am having trouble spelling desire extreme desire for wealth an extreme desire in the sense that extreme to the point that it is a verging on greed. It just means greedy. Greed, greedy. And finally, avarice means cupidity. We we'll learned we we'll learn cupidity in a second. It just means extreme desire for wealth. It just means to be greedy. Cupidity and avarice, they both need to be greedy. The adjective of avarice would be avaricious. Avaricious, actually. Avaricious. Avaricious. Av avaricious means that the person is avaricious, that means they have avarice, they have greed, uh, they are being rapacious, they are being uh, uh, voracious, ravenous, whatever you want to call it. Finally, let's learn the word cupidity. This word right here, cupidity. So again, I need the room, so we need to raise everything. Avaricious was the word. Cupidity, which is a noun, it just means an excessive desire an excessive desire an, exce an, exce an excessive desire and you can have excessive desire for anything especially especially for wealth that's cupidity it's a synonym of avarice. Now the last thing I want to talk about today before we call it a day is this abbreviation that I made here. ESP means spatially. Next time, not today, sometime in the future we'll talk about this word versus Spatial with an E and spatial without the E. We'll talk about the difference between these two words in the future, not today.
So one more time, we learned five words today, voracious, ravenous, propitious, avarice, or, or avaricious, and finally, cupidity. And that was the end of our day. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you find this useful to learn few words every day, and that's how that's how one improves the vocabulary. Uh, don't don't expect to sit there like most people do uh, a week before the exam and try to learn hundred words a day. It doesn't work that way. It is a slow process. You have to learn few words at a time and then begin to use them in your daily speech and your daily writing. Master them, own them. Do you understand? Anyway, I'm done for today. If you need to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor over this over the Skype, uh, on, online over the Skype. I also do tutoring over the telephone and of course in person. If you happen to be in the area where I live, in Connecticut, New York area, New York City area. If you wish to get hold of me, go to any of these website addresses, prepforgre.com, prepforgmail.com, or prepforsap.com, or finally prepfortofa.com, and send me an email. That's what I tutor for. I provide private tutoring for GRE, GMAT, SAT, and TOEFL. Or you can simply go to keshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright? Thanks.